We've got huge news. Oh my gosh, what is it? Chloe, you literally know what it is. Um. Chloe Girl has a new manicure kit. New manicure kit. That's what it is. <laughs> It's called Glow Glam and it's a nail stamper and it's so cute and so fun and easy to use. We're gonna show you guys exactly how to use it and what to do if there's a goof or something. Let's unbox it! Here's everything you get with this kit. One nail stamper, five pattern pods, two polishes, one top coat, one instruction sheet, and one bag to keep it all in. Before you get started, there's a couple of important things you've gotta do. Pick your polish color. I'm gonna use purple. Give it a good shake. Heads up, you can only use Go Glam polish for a Go Glam Mani. Pick your pattern pod. Check your pod to make sure the pattern tape is flat. Make sure your nails are a good length. This length works. Your nails have gotta be polish free, clean, and dry. Good to go. Okay, you've gotta pop in the pod first before you paint your nails. Just pick it up by the tab and push it in carefully. If you wanna pop out your pod even when your nails are tacky, press the eject button with your thumb. Hot tip, don't press unless your nail is ready to be stamped because you'll waste the pattern. Now time to paint the polish. When you pull the brush out, make sure to whip the excess polish off on the edge of the bottle. Paint a thin layer of polish and make sure it goes on smoothly. Don't gloop it on thickly. Put the cap back on the polish so it doesn't dry out. Let your nails dry for five minutes. You know what? That's the perfect amount of time to watch our vlog. Cool Maker Hangout! Check out the link down below. Oh, don't wander around your house while your nails are drying because bits of dust and stuff might get on them. Don't do them outside either. After five minutes, your nails should be a little tacky. Go Glam polish doesn't dry to be completely hard, so don't touch them. It's hard to paint your other hand with wet nails, so it's cool if you want to wait until your nails dry to do it. So Amanda, what pattern are you going to do? Flamingos, yes please, they're super cute. And let me guess, you're going to do unicorns, unicorns. duh. <laughs> okay, we've got to set ourselves up for stamping success. That means making sure we're stamping on a hard flat surface like a sturdy table and checking the tape in the pattern pod to make sure it's flat. To get the hang of it, start by stamping the easiest finger, your index. Keep your palm flat on the table and your finger firmly flat inside the stamper. Now you're ready to stamp. Press down hard and let go quickly. If you press softly, the nail won't get completely covered by the pattern. And if you hold it down too long, it'll be sticky and harder to release. Let's see that stamping action again. <gasps> OMG, it looks perfect. Do the rest. If you want to switch up your pattern, just pop out the pod and pop in another. Ooh, cute hearts. The easiest way to stamp your thumb is to move the stamper to the edge of the table and hold your hand like this. If you stamp your thumb the way you stamp your fingers, it will only cover the side of the nail. Oh my I god. can't believe how easy these I are. I love them, they're so adorable. They're so adorable. Look how cute. Oh my god, Chloe, you have to do mine. Please do mine. The last step is applying the top coat. First, paint one thin layer and let it dry for three minutes. Then, paint another thin layer and let that one dry for five minutes. Why are 
Dry now. Okay, yeah, same. Remember how we keep saying you've got to make sure the tape inside the pot is flat? This is how you do that. If that doesn't work, pop out the pod, put a pencil in the hole in the sticker side, and turn the pencil clockwise until the tape is flat. Perfect. If your pod doesn't pop out, what's up with that pod? Try pressing the eject button. If that doesn't work, stamp once, then press and hold the eject button while pulling out the pattern pod by the tab. Here's something important to know. Each pattern has 25 nails worth of stamps in it. To check if you're close to running out, look for this yellow line on the sticker side of the pod. If you run out while stamping, you'll know. It won't stamp your nail properly or the pod will feel weirdly stuck in the stamper. If it's stuck, try the tricks we mentioned a few seconds ago. Listen guys, sometimes your nail will come out looking weird. No big deal, you can fix that. Here's how. If the pattern isn't stamped on the sides of your nail, try pressing harder. Don't stamp on the same nail twice. If the top or bottom of your nail isn't getting stamped, move your finger forwards or backwards in the stamper groove until you find the perfect place. If your polish gets smudged or leaves a mark on the pattern tape, it probably wasn't dry enough yet, or it was too thick. Wait a while, and then test another nail. Did your pattern pod not stamp anything? Press it once without your finger, then try again. Wow, that was a lot. Yeah, but usually it's really easy. That's mm -hmm. all just in case there's a goof or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know how we should end this video? No. We should play the commercial that we did for Go Glam. Amanda, no, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, okay, roll it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Go glam. A totally fresh way to do your nails. It's easy to bring salon style home and make manicure magic. Pop it, paint it, stamp it. Cute designs, live it for it. Stamp, stamp, stamp them in a sec. Any size nail, so easy. Switch it up, so fun and fresh. this video if you think we're funny and hilarious then make sure you check out our <laughs> vlog quick <Quaker> hangout <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys <laughs> that's kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> got the hair on my eye